Played by Final Bowser. Yeah, Bowser, that's what this is. Bowser time. Bowser time. Go. All right. It's grand. The Here classic is at it again. Gen and Venia, game five. I'd like to see it. I always root for a game five. I always root for a game ten. Let's see how it rolls out tonight. As it's Venia who has to reset the bracket onto Gen. It's true. It's true. Which. If you just tuned in for our top four, given Venia's play, you'll be mystified to see how we even got to this position. It was, in fact, Jen who put him here in losers, so... Let's see if Venia gets his run back. Jen had all the time to warm up right there, because he's been sitting comfy in, in the grand slot on the winner's side. Let's see if he can keep that same momentum that he took uh, Jen, uh, to Venia to game five and took it out. Meanwhile, Venia coming from Loses Finals all warmed up. Just, yeah, but he warned just, him against an odd host of characters. It's not like Lucario, Olimar, and Rosalina are really prepping you up for for anything. True. Anything realistic, I should say. But they kept his fingers nice and warmed up. This could be an even set throughout the whole duration of this match. Like both players are strong enough to take whatever stocks they want to get. It's just a matter of like who makes the first mistake in this whole set. A stock loss. Popped up. Feel like wouldn't pop have done it. He, he really tried to cover everything with that. Like down tilt at the at the ledge, pretty groovy option because he just sets up into damn near anything. But I feel like Jen needs to figure out like what to do with the range because he's popping up really and high. The dash attack, so Ooh, it's up to him. Getting all the faults in the world off of this. Yeah, he's catching all these jumps. Jen answering back with the nares. Cool. Just moving around each other. Like, it's hard to like make the mistake here because they're just like moving so well with their characters. Like they're very aware like how how every little inch they move forward matters. Venny has gotten away with a lot of substitutes tonight, but I don't know if he can really continue that gravy train rolling any further. Cause like you're paying a price pretty big if Palutena has time to set up an attack on you, or just lands a grim, nonchalantly. Ah, down tilt, forward here. Taking the stock successfully for Venia. Putting him in the lead. Dash attack answering back, getting his landings, getting getting him off stage. Missing the down air. Vinny is still putting himself there. Very scary situation. If you get killed. Ooh, oh, nice. All right. That was, that was good. And the air to take the stock. Yeah, we haven't Ooh. seen any of the powers really doing a lot of that tonight outside of some sparse instances. So using Nair just to occupy space, I feel like is gonna be like the key call out for Vinny returning to the ledge. Cause yeah, you can get hit with the, the water bursts from Hydro Pump, but Venage don't got no hitbox. Oh, the side B? Oh, he okay. tried to do it to him. Close the slow up take. Up airs, these multi hits are so good for Greninja to land on a tall character like Palutena. He's getting the world off his character, and it's gonna take the stop. He actually just decided the combo never ended. We were just gonna keep going, and one was gonna go to Venia. The height of that jump that he gets off that uh, full hop off the platform. Let him chase Jen all the way to the end and take that first game. Now we're going back to PS2. Now their last set, they did nothing but play on uh, FD. Maybe the same could happen here, or they just do nothing but play on PS2. It's just like, all right, if we're gonna play it, we're just gonna play on the stage. I kind of, like I kind of feel like no matter where we go, uh, it's just gonna be run backs. Once Jen yeah. loses, it's run backs. Oh, of course. Like, I know I can beat you here. I'm like, gonna, I'm if, the it if the stage moves to FD, then it's not moving off of FD for the rest of the set. But while yep. it's on stadium, we're staying stadium. Yeah, so right. we're gonna hear this beautiful song like five billion times. Oh, nice, nice combo game from Venio over here. Always stay ready to catch me, you not take it. Or at least to drag you down into the combo zone, you know, with that drag down up air. No, yeah, he definitely popped off with all the up airs that we saw in game <laughs> one. Yeah. And it, honestly, we don't get a chance to see that a lot from him.
Like, he's normally more consistent with the drag down, set ups, go for some sort of a punish on a poor landing. That time he was just like, we're going up and nowhere by. Mm -hmm. One thing I do want to bring up, though, that I think is actually really smart of Venny is he's going for a lot more higher callouts when it comes to the buttons he's pressing on Jen. He's not giving Jen an opportunity to short hop bear to, like, beat any of his buttons because he's just swinging over it. He's either landing in with Nair or he's, like, swinging in that really weird blind spot of back air. Also to note that he's also not doing the same thing, like, three times. Like, anything more than twice, he would switch it up for, like, a Nair or something or a down tilt. Stay grounded. He wants you to like be in that spot where you, where you think he's gonna do this. Nah, I was just like only testing the waters real quick. You know, put my pinky in the pool. Yes, very rapid sense of malconditioning. Where it's like, all right, I'm doing this thing, I'm doing this thing. Next rhythm, I'm doing this thing, doing this thing, so on and so forth. But to Jen's credit, he's catching up to pace with Venia very well. Ooh, that run up up tilt. Not getting much from it. Taking a lot of percentage. Then those thoughts either answering back to whatever Venia is throwing at him. That up tilt sets Drenin just so low to the ground that not even like the lowest of Nairs is scooping him. Did she have a wall jump? I'm sorry. What? I, th I thought I just saw her wall jump, but... Does Palutena have a wall jump? I don't think I've ever asked myself that question, and I don't think I've ever seen it. That was weird. Probably looked like I want to say she doesn't, because that just wouldn't make sense. I know a lot of zoners and a lot of weird characters do have wall mobility. Uh, but I don't Ooh, think she does. We're gonna we're gonna double down. Yeah. Yeah. Di out of the back though. Down throw. Okay, she did. Copy, copy. This is my mom playing trick tricks on me then. <laughs> Ooh, the shortened. I like that one. Didn't do anything. Yeah, and death sense yet. Oh, but the upper all the way he to the top. The jump. He just dragged him up there. That was amazing. And, and then there cleans it up. Not take yet. That was a very bold land onto the stage. You can't just be doing that. Constantly setting up into these situations. And the back that was going to take it because he got up. I love that little swoosh. That will just move right behind, go in for the grab, back throw at the absolute ledge. You got nothing to worry about that high of a percentage. Oh, the raw nair in the middle of your nair strings is the oh, biggest mix so that like a polytonic could bring at the beginning of a combo. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> it looks like the same thing. Well, yeah, because it's just a circle. But when you turn around, all of a sudden that SDI just locks you into the combo. That guarantees you're in for more. Oh, that was sick. Very technical. I like that. The down air out of the shield. The block good roll. You got out of that situation where you're near the ledge, you could die. Drag down so this pressure from Venia. Just, uh, just constantly resetting the same situation over and over. Should I get him with the jab, jab forward there? Yeah, you see, we've, we've seen Venia do that a lot where he's like plinking his jabs for an opportunity to just catch where you think he's going to wrap a jab and instead he's gone for grabs on a couple occasions. He's gone for forward air a lot more. But when your mix up becomes consistent, that's not your mix anymore. That's just what's to be expected. Oh. Ooh. We tried to back her. Okay. I just have to get the recovery on the opening and the again on the stage. Wow. Game three. All right. Town Kalos off the board. Do we see ourselves return to stadium or does the never ending FD mix happen? We're definitely going to FD. There's no way. It's Venny. Hey. There it is, folks. Locked and loaded into space we go. Final destination will probably be the final setting for this tournament. These boys too stubborn to move off of it once they get there. Well, if there is a reset, they'll end up striking to PS2 again. <laughs> and then we just start the cycle over. But that's on the presumption that we do see the reset. That's a fact. And honestly, the past two games have been so neck and neck, I don't know for certain if any can get this reset. No. Not if Game 3 is going to uh. start like that. Digging his heels right into the head of the frog. <laughs> Valiant start for Jen for Game 3. Cray has destroyed him. <laughs> like... It's like, if you were asleep during this grand... <laughs> Cray. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> but if you were, like, falling asleep mid-grand final set, like you probably were, that probably should have woke you up. That was... That was your wake-up call, folks. Less than a minute since the match started, and... Jen swung out and just, like, killed him. Murdered him. And Venia answered right back. Yes. 
he is not a man to be styled on and be let the note be left as such. He will always try to one up anyone if they try to get the clip on him. You know, if there's one thing that this set has reminded me, is that Palutena's standing grab is just concentrated depression. <laughs> like, she ain't grabbing shit with that thing. Dash grab? Yeah, that's just a vacuum. You hold that. Yeah, she's standing so cool. grab? Every single time, Venia has oh, gotten the hell out of dodge. Oh, back Why is it down there? Ooh. Sick movement from Grinch. From Greninja right there. What's the pickup? It's gonna be up yeah. there, sharking. Yeah, I feel like right now, Venny is like letting him get away with the shields. Oh, he's going off. He's going off. Oh, are you okay? Alright, generally tried to violate. <laughs> He really looked for his opportunity to just keep on back air until he gets down. Like, Bro, I'm trying to go home before 11. <laughs> like, uh. 1 1. He's as like, usual. The trains are real messed up today, man. Oh, I ain't trying to do so this. so messed up. I hate it. <laughs> My commute today was three hours. To get it's nice out. Walk. Four. Well. Shut up, Devin. Mr. I live on 34. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Very bold explosive flame. But Venia was not in a position to really call it out, so he just has to hold that. Dash attack in the landing. We've again. seen a lot more dash attack from Jen now. You mentioned just because, like, oh, he turned around. It's so it. good to pick up any when Venia wants to swing. That looks like an auto correct too. Oh, Whoop. what could he get here to kill? With the up tilt, nice oh, combo video time. Nah, we tech those. Forward tilt. All right, decent enough call out. It's slow, and it finally worked out. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. You can't be doing that against Jen. You get to do that against characters that are gonna like throw out hitboxes constantly, like Olimar, Lucario. Yeah, you got that. And that micro spacing matters so much more because then you just position yourself wherever for free. You can't do that against you can't do that against someone who's so well aware of your habits that he knows just to. Call it out as he sees it. Then he's not taking a breather. He's going right back in the final destination. This could be the last game of the tournament. He listen, Venia, you got to give credit where credit's due. This man dies a warrior. He never stops until he's won. Okay, oh misses. my! Jeez, he's almost dead. Oh, he's. I thought he was dead. Oh, is this working him? Almost two frame down there again. Oh man. Still, zero to ninety-five. Start off game four. Very strong start for Jen. Looking like early uh, ultimate days where Paul Tennant just reigned supreme over the entire region. It's for everyone learning the matchup. But right, listen, wait, still good. I mean, <laughs> one year later, Jen's showing that there's a reason why he's one of the best in the biz. Like, his dominance with the character is no fluke, and he has been dedicated to her from the get go. True. This could be bad for Jen. He has to find a way to get back. Oh! You see, that's what I mean! He keeps on picking Jeb 1 and 2 like it's gonna be a mix up. He's done it every time he's gone for Jeb on Shield this set! So good. Like, it's a very smart option, and Venny is a very smart player who can fully utilize that type of mind gaming. But if it's what he's starting with and he's not mixing up with it, what's the point? True, true. Like. Jen has found a way to like get out of that situation every time and it's like calmly take the stops from like Venia's aggressiveness here. Chopping him at the head. Ooh. Last hit near. Alright, this oh. ledge play all of a sudden belongs to Jen. No jump, no jump. Oh, I almost had it, but it's a little too slow on the trigger. Alright, let's see, what's the play? Just Himself right back on stage. Oh, right there. That was really Not good. Gonna take no, but then he's going to continue the, the ledge play. Is he dead? No. Oh, no. Oh, that was Sir Mashington on the scene. Shield. Okay. Okay, Just that should be it. Up throw? No. Oh, no. I guess you got to wait until like 190 for FD. Yeah, something like that. It wasn't close enough to see it. Oh, it was, but like, oof. Oh man. 
There are so many situations that Benny has just let slip on him on this one particular stop. Finally he finally stop. ties it up, but that was so much time that was burnt where Jen was just chilling. It's good on Jen that he's like, surviving all of Benny's setups. And then getting right back into the swing of things, and, you know, taking the stocks like clean. Like, I feel like at this point in the game, like, Venia has showed his hand. And it's a very rare circumstance where we start to see him exhausted of options, but I think Jen has forced him into that situation. Last of the Nair. No pickup once again. And there's a, yeah, that's stuck. All right, down to the final this is the stock. Long, like mountain to climb. Yeah, this if, is the, this is the long trek. If any is gonna pick it back up, if he's gonna reset this grand finals, if he's gonna take us to the last win screen of the night, having Greninja at the front, it's gotta start here. It's gotta start now. Otherwise, this is another saga victory Ooh. for again. A throw up here. Another one. He's been doing real good with those. Let's see more of it. Like, it's harder for Venia to get his early stocks compared to when Jen does it. Right, right. Because Jen has, like, what I like to call the guaranteed 40. Like, you know you're oh. getting... Oh, my God. He's trying good. to rob it all. Jen just ended on the cool note. Oh, right there? Okay. Jen trying to close it up with a good smash attack. Down throw. He eyes away. Back throw. Yeah, but it's just putting him further and further into the ledge. What's the play? He really tried to violate it. Oh, right. okay. The forward smash is going to take it at 110%. Venny has brought comebacks like this before. He can do it again. Venny has to slow it down here and like get his straight hits in. And the dash attack's not going to take it. It's going to put him in a bad spot. Really good drift. The Nair. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. Here. Combo video. 35. All right, that's good. That's good. Get your licks in. No, we didn't get your little hits. Attack. Stay safe. Oh, get himself out scary. of the corner. He's ducking in and out. He's weaving. He's making it work for Second him. Second up here. This could be it. But not yet. Jenna that was almost it. Adamant. The Nair. Oh, no. Oh, Once no. again. The counter. Oh, man. Je and he hit Ooh, from Jen. That was a screwy Jen. DI, but Venia staying alive. No pickup. Does not stay the in position. The there? From the opposite side? Nah. Yeah, that was... Almost gonna do it. One more hit, one more hit. He tried. He tried to do some sneaky, like, low recovery catch there. I'm gonna go high now. What's the option? Not position at roll distance. Very rare for Venia. Okay. And doesn't get his knockdown, so he, scary, has, to, he has to win out on this ledge situation. Almost died there. Close set. It's getting to hit. the point where Jen can just approach with shield and then back. Oh! Up. The forward air. From downtown. Could be a game five situation right here. He keeps on approaching. <laughs> oh, the forwarder! And it takes it. Venia is still alive. Takes it all the way By back. The skin of his teeth, he's bringing us into game five. Oh, that amazing, amazing comeback from, from Venia. He was down two stocks. There were so many times where Jen could have just shield got right there. That could have been shield grab. Here, it's going to happen again. He's going to empty hop, shield grab. That could have even just been dash grab. Just like, Jen playing just a bit too patient, but Venia saw that opportunity and he ran to the finish line with it. But here's where it really counts. Do we get our reset tonight? Oh man. I don't even know. <laughs> it's it's too hard to call. It's, it's, These you matches can't, you can't been... call it. You just gotta like play by play and just be like, alright. This is what's happening. I'm sorry, y'all, but y'all gotta watch to see what's like, gonna happen next. <laughs> we're at the edge of our seats just as much as you are. We don't know what's gonna happen just as much as you don't. And I think there's a beauty to that. I, I actually know what's going to happen, but... Shut up, Devin. <laughs> no one asked you. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> just load up the congratulations music from Super Mario 64, damn it. Pretty much. Birthday cake. Let me get that credits music for the uh, interview. Nair, Nair forward here from Venia. Taking this... Ooh! Almost getting that side B kill. Completely avoids the down tilt. Ooh, Straight up into the That was actually kind of early. I mean, yeah, rising up here. That's going to kill, but still, that's... All things considered, for Venia, that's an early stock to lose. And this is not the situation you want to be like, in if you're losing your early stock. In a sense, both characters can do the exact same thing to each other. You know, they just like, take a rising up air and just die. For it. Oh, that was weird. I thought that was an anger. That was like the second or last hit of Nair, and Polly was already like peeling out of the area. Right, right. Substitute does have like a set zone where it has to like proc, and 
it's kind of hard to judge which direction you want to fly because Venia has to make that decision in an instant. Uh, from one thing I noticed in like both of these characters, uh, since uh, Palutena has like the faster, better grab here, and Greninja's like is a little bit slower than hers, I'd say that like, she has like the better grab here, right? But it, like it's all we, relative because like we really haven't seen Venia threaten with kill outside of like ludicrous percents. Ooh, that's not take it. And Venia's like kills have been like off of like counters, his follow ups off of down tilt, dash attack. Ooh, chasing him. Oh, he still had his jump too. And these forwarders, these well placed forwarders, because he would jump right at the right moment just to catch a uh, whiff of Palutena. Ooh, oh! Good he's mix. Going in, he's going in. It's that hearty mix. So I'd say this is like. Oh, oh what a great catch from Venia! Oh, this is this is momentum in play right here. This is this is this is focus Venia. Like this is Venia that does not want this night to end just yet. He wants this reset to happen. He's like, no, Munoz, you will not get it back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, stay seated. We're going another five games. Two ass down. We're playing grand finals. We're playing true finals. Down tilt. Jenna's just been so slow Trying on the action. Trying to get it again. That side just steals stocks. It's amazing. It's a very good side, there. Oof. Putting the pressure on him. Standing there, nice. Well, excellent patience from Venia. He is not committing to a damn thing, but that should, was a that prob was, probably should have moved a little bit. That was just a homie yeah. song. That was his controller stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> nice reaction there. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, well, oh. we we saw Venia take a momentous uh, comeback earlier and much higher percentages. Grand scheme of things, Ooh. very doable, especially as Jen is swinging right hard. Right past the flames. What uh, is the play going to be? It. Up smash. Straight up. Resets Reset. our bracket tonight. Damn it. <laughs> I love to see more of these two players. They're both amazing players. Like, <laughs> I got to catch my breath there. <laughs> Such a good set. And they're going to take it right back into stage striking for this reset for true finals here at Xenosaga XXXI. 31. Back to PS2. Back to stadium until we decide that the stalemate ends on FD. And these boys are both fired up and ready. We've seen great play from them. I'm sorry, in a couple of instances. But for the most part, <laughs> beautiful grand finals we've had tonight. Very true. Jen is looking to start this one out strong. My God! Mm. He just had him down in the corner and just like... He nailed him to the wall. Yeah, just, just nailed him to the wall. <laughs> he really just got him with it. Just took both his hands, put him on the cross. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> and he's really not done yet. Then he's only getting a couple of licks in before the, the mix starts once again. Now, from the momentum that Jen started this match with, I would say game one is his. But Venya can always answer back and take game two. Go out of the way with these players. Like, if Venia gets his like right reads off of like whatever he puts, like, whatever situation he puts Jen in, he can take quick stocks like rapid fire. Same could be said about Jen. You know? No, yeah, they've they've both been doing a great job of making sure they answer back to what, whoever holds the deficit. Like, honestly, this interaction is really the first time that we've seen, like, one of them hold, like, a determinate lead. And Ooh, even at that, it's not, deep. like, super strong in Jen's favor right now, but he's looking to cement it. Uh, Cross him over that nair, but still not taking the stocks. He needs to take one to get started. Nothing off that. Oh. That's the second one. Third. Oh, now you're swinging. Ah. This is the, the landing. The chase continues. Ah. No tech. That was oh, actually kind of uh, bad. I'm DI. back Hold here. On. You're back here. <laughs> now, we've seen multiple times that Jen is utilizing back air out of With hits her. to, like, to try and keep the chase from continuing. I'm surprised that Venia wouldn't have expected that situation. 
All right, buddy, uh -oh. calm down, calm down. Try to go get to this man quick. did just reset grand finals on you. You're not hitting stocks at seventeen percent. This gas tank ain't empty yet for Jen, and it's gonna take it. No jump. Wow. Yeah. The hold that. I guess I'll just eat my words. <laughs> <laughs> that whole that was a solid three star from Jen. That was. That was. Woo. You know what? Cheeks and? were clapped. And we're out on FD! <laughs> it's just like, you know, just give me my FD, boy. <laughs> what you doing? Like, you, you, you know where we're going. You know how this goes. <laughs> Makes you think, like, why didn't they start FD in the first place? That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> like, I don't know, I guess they gotta be dramatic about it. I mean, it still is Venia's counter pick. True, true. I guess. Like, if Jen has a choice, he doesn't want him to go here. No, uh, yeah, that's true. So they strike for it, and then like Jen like, yeah. takes him there, and then it's just like they back and forth there. I, I, mean, listen, I, I guess at some point you gotta respect the dedication to the foreplay before they just get right into it. Now, if Vinny does take this game though, does Jen want to use his advantage here and like take him back to PS2? Or. I, I have a Somewhere feeling they're both gonna be like stubborn enough to just rock it on whatever stage they are on. Like, True. Jenny showed excellent performance here on Final Destination as well as on uh, on PS2. And if he really wanted to, he can go to State um, Smashville rather, where like Politana has full reign of control of space at every point of the game. That's that's the setup Vinny wants. Six stocks real fast from it. The down throw, wait a bit, run off with the side B. Super good. You gotta outlive and outlast as aggressively as you can. Hey, like, listen, if that game one is gonna set the tone for true finals, we know that these guys gotta hit the gas like, and redline that shit. There really is no slowing down past this point. No, of course not. Just, they're not zoning each other out. They're not like playing. They're not camping. They don't want to camp. Like the only time we've seen their, their zoning tools being utilized is just to like try and control space as they land, but they immediately give it up as they see, like, all right, it didn't work out. Like, like right here, explosive flame, not the right call out. We're gonna get right into the let's play. We're gonna see it back there. We're gonna see Jen tie it right back up. This is why like, they're so even, because they're, they're kind of like the same player, but with different character, in terms of what they want and what they go for. They're very much two sides of the same coin with how oppressive both the characters can be, and like, the way that, like, their, their approach to the game works, as far as players are concerned. Just waiting oh, with nice. bated breaths as we see who manages to make it out of this ledge situation. Jen having completely cleared up this percentage deficit. And That's in fact, it. it's going to start rocking a stock lead. But how well will Venia let him hold this? Ooh. There. Did the same as last time. Oh, trying to blow him off. Oh, yeah. Now we literally just got B side of that track. We saw the whole situation end out with the ledge control in Jen's favor. Good on Venia to delay that recovery in order to make it back there. And I like how Jen went for like the the nice. rising there too. Like he knew he was he was fine if he whiffed it. He's all right. Like he's got the lead as he needs it. Good dash sensing to grab right there. This is neutral. This is li like literally just waiting to see who enters room space. And like, Venia is running out of time to really mess around here. But game one, kind of brutal. Game two, much more on his terms. But right now, while Jen has us locked up at the ledge, there's really not much more we can do. They're on the way down. Wait, lost the jump. Oh, uh, no kill. And the throw. At 130? Yeah, no, I was going to say, like, that's still a little too early. What is oh, that Nair. Where are you going? No way. He's back? He made it back? That's smoke. That's scripted. That looked like a day one, like. This last interaction was a cutscene. Uh, scary moment. Limited ledge options could lead Vinny to stock loss or throw kill or this. He's definitely died like he three lived. times this set. No, he, he's not gonna die from mid stage. This cat's running out of lives, man. Uh, Only a matter of time. Get... Oh, shit. Oh, he doing a zoom! He doing a whole ass zoom! He want that stock! Oh, man. 
<laughs> and the dash attack off the jump. Beautiful right there. conditioning with the empty hops. You'd have expected to grab out of that sight. Nope. I got shield bash time. Charging stars. My man said stars and stripes. <laughs> For freedom. <laughs> Now two games go under Jen's belt here from the first, uh, I mean, from the first two games of Grand's. All right, Rain. break, break the, the targets! <laughs> How is Mo this gonna go? Oh, he got the, the raw in there. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's on his side right now. Like at this point, this is Jen's set to lose. Like he is entered this true finals a revitalized man. I brought up in game four and five of the previous set of grants how it started to look like Venio was exhausting all of his options, that he was starting to showcase a little bit of fatigue in his play, which is very rare to say of him as a player. Dude. But I don't know, now it's just looking like Chen hit his second win. Even if Venia is alive and well, it is Blessing. not showing here. Ooh. Scary situation right there. It also stems from the fact that like whenever like the round starts for these two, Jen is always like hitting him first, and it's like. Well, it helps like, that it the mix on him. It helps that if one of them's going for a call out button at the at the open, Jen has an invincible option. <laughs> <laughs> like dash attacks are really good dash for calling out damn near like, anything, uh... especially because we're constantly seeing Venia close in with landing areas. The hitbox for dash attack off of Politana is a little higher than it actually looks because she's raising her arm with the shield. That was it's good really good. Those players right there. That's gonna take the stuff. Yup. They both like at that moment they just both jumped at each other and they're just like, huh? Huh? <laughs> it's like sets between Venia and Jen is constantly a game of chicken, but this has been such a renegade set. The jab off the uppy. Nice back good attack. Good back tech. Tech. On the stage. I'm punching like every like interaction between the two. It's, it's pretty astounding. <laughs> Great call! Nice. The penny has got the hops. She knows that Greninja has the mobility options for it. Jen does the same thing back to him, but it's not going to lead to much. Yeah. The Nair. Both evenish on percentage, like whatever they want to land. No up tilt to land the. Ooh, no jump, no jump. Benny with a heavy deficit as far as the, the set count is concerned. It's not often that we get to see him fight back from like from this. See, now what Venia does whenever he does side B to ledge, he would delay his, his up B. If Jen would start catching that, that'd be a problem for him, but like... Well, a lot of the issue is that Jen is trying to catch a lot of this like wayward play off the ledge with down air, and... If, like, I mean, to remind you, that's one active frame. Yeah, that's an early kill. Yeah, that's style points. But if he just occupied that space by lingering with Nair, he'd have a much greater chance of being able to catch Venia. And whether or not it kills, it's on Jen's call. Oh, Trump there from Venia. Oh, the dash. Oh, it's so, it's so close. Oh, that's tension. Catching you can the cut jump. with a knife. Game of chicken right now. See if we can catch the first one. Let's jump first. So we can get their throw. That forward air. Should we go for the chase off stage? Not giving and it to him. And he's getting throw killed. Ooh. Same situation as before. Game 5 of last uh, set of grands. Venio was down. The Nair. Try to catch the jump. Alright, and there starts the it all. Train. Oh, he's setting them up. He's setting them up. Slow get up from the ledge. I think it's actually a really good call from Jen. Helps curb a little bit of that tempo that he set. That was good on Benny to delay his like, fall right there. And the back air takes it. All right. Once again, Venia is looking down the jaws of defeat. Does he stay alive? Does he start the potential reverse 3-0? Or does Alan secure himself he tonight's to, win? He needs to put him in a cutscene right now in order to start somewhere. Oh, like, like we this. actually need a quick time event. Like right now. Yeah, it's looking real good for Venia. He's he's up grinding there. him up. This could be it. Forced to exhaust the jump. He's just going to go for the neutral get up. Get his resources back up and running. The parry. Oh. Parry the dash attack. That covered all the distance that Jen needed. Not covering his landing on the stage. 
Just jump around him. <laughs> oh, Yo, he's trying to up smash. He's trying to up smash there. Oh! Dangerous game. Now is not the time for games. Oh. Couple of empty hops leading into something. We've seen this plenty of times from Jen. Oh, the last hit in there. Ooh, this could be it. He keeps on. Ah! He's tried that multiple times, but Venny is too quick on the draw to fall for it. Does Florida manage to check the bad no. deal? No, in fact, from center stage, he's staying alive. I swear, if, it, if this ends with a throw kill, I'm gonna lose it. <gasps> oh. He was forced and to jump! That and that's sick. gonna do it! Jen covered the right spots right there just to force him to jump. That may take. have been the best shortening of an explosive flame we have seen in a long time here at Xeno. And he's used it before to take like a set earlier in winners, and I've noticed that. But he, that he saved was, it for this he, last moment. We didn't see amazing. him shorten at all for controlling speech. We saw him lengthen. We saw him just go for like regular like smash and tilt distance of explosive flame. But that was beautiful spacing. And that is how Xenosaga 31 ends tonight.